Hello and welcome to Take It In. My name is Shattaki Bhattacharji. This is the very first video on the series of Java programming. You guys are aware of Java, right? You've heard it. If you don't, don't worry. I'm going to teach you that. So this is the very first video and it's going to contain the very basics of Java language. You can sit back and relax for this video. Don't worry. I'm there with you. So let's start. I'm going to go to the beginning where it all started, you know, the birth of Java. So it was invented by five scientists in the year 1991. It was invented at Sun Microsystems. And when it was developed, it was given the name of Oak and only later it was renamed as Java. So you see, when Java was developed, they had just one motivation in their mind, the prime motivation, and that was to make it a platform independent language. You've heard platform independent, it's quite popular. So what basically is platform independent? It's very easy, trust me, it's very easy. It's, it's, it's a very easy concept. Platform independent basically means that you can write your code once and you can run it anywhere on your machine. So let's get to it. Suppose you're writing a source code. Well, what's a source code? That's it's something you write, you know, the main code. You take a notepad, or you can write in some editor, you write some code. What is this source code? What you write on it? I'm going to teach you that to the entire series. This is the part I'm going to teach you to the entire series. What's the source code? So just let's explain how Java is compiled. Then you can know what how the platform independent thing is actually happening. So first you write the source code. And after you write the source code, you're going to compile the source code. As for every language, you're going to compile it. After the compilation is done, here comes the magic. Down now, after this process, a file is generated and it's called the bytecode. It's not possible to read the bytecode. Uh, bytecode has got an extension of the dot class file. This is the thing, this bytecode, it's platform independent. They say Java is platform independent because bytecode is platform independent. You know, you can take the bytecode and run it anywhere. Provided, provided, now we are coming to the main part. Now, this bytecode is not understood by any machine, not understood by us. So how can we run the bytecode? Now comes the thing, it's called a JVM. JVM, the full form goes as Java Virtual Machine. JVM is a thing where you put on your bytecode so that your machine, your computer can understand it. You know, your computer have to understand the point, right? Or it's not of any use. So that's the machine, that's the thing that the computer can understand while well, you put it on a JVM. And if you understand this point very well, the JVM is not platform independent. There is JVM for every other operating system. Actually, platform basically means operating system. You know, you have to keep that in mind. It's nothing like platform. What's that platform is? It's, it's just an operating system. You know, there's JVM for your Linux. There's JVM for your Windows. There's JVM for your Mac. There's JVM for every machine. So you just have to write your bytecode. Just take that bytecode and just place it in the JVM. JVM will run for you, provided the JVM is for the particular machine. So you know the basic stuff of Java in this tutorial. So this was the basics and I guess you're clear with that. If you're not, if you, please let me know in my comments. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe.